A week of OTAs in the books for the Titans, ready to start week two. I'm joined by Pro Bowl defensive tackle Jarrell Casey. What did the Titans get accomplished in the first week of OTAs? Just really everybody getting back into the groove and really getting their hands back, you know, dirty in the grass. I think that was really the best thing about it. Everybody came in flying around, full energy. I think it was a good week to the start of a good um, season. Rookie class, pretty impressive out there last week. What did you think of the rookie class? I think they're doing pretty well. They pick up in the playbook pretty fast, executing the plays, and they bring in the energy the way we love to see it. And, you know, like I said, it don't work without them coming in right away and getting the job done. So having them come out and be able to participate full speed and not having to have a coach on their neck, that's just showing that we're already ahead of the curve. And, you know, these guys are going to help us out a whole lot. I would ask you for a favorite, but I know it's going to be a Dory Jackson because he went to USC like you did. Talk about this young man coming out of your great program and, and what you already see from him. He's going to be great. On the defense side of the ball, he got a great, you know, great burst, um, break on getting to the ball. Try to do his best and not let people catch the ball on him. And he, he's definitely going to be an asset for our special teams. And I'm waiting to see him in action back there. I know he's going to make a lot of people miss. And when he turn no jets on, ain't no catching him. So I'm just waiting to see him really get going. You're back to work this week with week two. What is the second week of OTAs like for the veteran players and for the younger guys? It's really just cleaning up the mistakes from the first week, trying to make sure we're consistent. You know, a lot of times you get out here, you're, you're hyped, and you're going to be a little, little focused a little bit more the first week. You want to make sure we've been consistent with that. This way we started this week, let's make sure we continue that going into the second week. Let's talk about what a defensive lineman is able to get done in OTAs. You're obviously not in full pads. What are the things Jarrell Casey and the guys up front working on? The biggest thing is really technique, trying to make sure you're you're really working on your steps, working on your hand placement. Like you said, it's a little difficult because you don't have the pads on to really strike a guy, but you want to do your best to try to fit up as best as possible and get off a block. And that's one thing we're kind of trying to focus on a lot when we're an individual is being technique sound. That's one thing our, our defensive line coaches are always talking about, making sure your technique sound because that's what's going to get you out of trouble when you have off step here, you have a false step there. You got to make sure you have clean technique and striking the guy. Finally, you have seen so much turnover in your time with the Titans. And while there are new players here, there's been very little turnover. Not much turnover in the staff. The core of this team stays together. You actually have a chance to build on 2016 because of that, don't you? Definitely, and that's how you make a championship team. You know, you have your core players and you have a good staff that's knowing what they're doing. And when you have that around here, it's going to lead you to a lot of championships that are in the near future. And we're just hoping we can get that done been to the Pro Bowl in back-to-back -back years. Jarrell Casey with us at TitansOnline.com.